Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today is not a song, sadly, <clears throat> but I haven't been able to write any songs lately and I've been a little bit sick. I'm still getting over it so that's why I sound a little bit croaky today. So, um, I'm going to be doing a look that no one really knows about this character. If you know Echoes of Desire, you may know the series, My Brother's Best Friend. I have fallen in love with that series since I started watching it, and even down on Patreon to, you know, see other stuff that he does. So, um, in that series, you, the character, has a friend named Andrea, and you fall in love with her brother. So, you never really see Andrea. You can see yourself and see what the brother kind of looks like. Uh, in the first series, he has, well, and also in the second series, third, I don't know, because there's two, th okay. So anyways, in the first series, he kind of has, like, wavy-ish brown hair, blue eyes, pale skin, yada yada. Tone body, you know. <laughs> if you don't know the series, I would say just to go and check it out, like, I'm not actually told by Echoes of Desire himself. Uh, to give him a shout out, but I do love his videos. So yeah, today we're going to be doing a look of how I think Andrea would look. Now I don't have any blue contacts because well, my other already ruined enough, and I don't want to ruin my eyes with contacts that are could you know ruin them more. But anyways, I'm gonna start off. So I have all my makeup that I have on here. So what I'm first gonna do is of course brush my hair really quickly. And I'm going to tie it up. Doesn't need to be neat because it's just looking like it. And then I'm going to use this uh, headband to put my hair, like my bangs that I have, back. So out of the way so I don't get any makeup in them. Even though I look horrible, it's just, you know, I already took a shower, I don't need to take another one. Even though that sounds amazing. So I'm going to start off with a clean face. And since I took a shower, I already have a clean face, but I'm just going to take another precaution. And use a makeup wipe. It's called uh, Hydrating Facial Wipes Moisturizer. Basically... Just any makeup wipes that you can get makeup off with. So yeah. I need to use like really like specific makeup because I have like bad reactions. To I'm going to use something to keep my face like from being dry. So I'm going to use Skin Quench uh, Hydrating Primer. Which will also keep the makeup on longer if I'm not corrected. And I'm just gonna dot it over my face. If I can get it out, I use it a lot. Just gonna rub it in. Try and get it everywhere. He said I'm sick, but I need to get a video out. I really want to. Okay. So now that I got my face all primed up, I'm going to use this hydrating makeup. It will still keep me hydrated, and it's um, number 175, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of pale. Uh, I'm very pale as is without even being sick, so yeah. And as I can see from a picture of those two sides, because I'm looking at a reference of Leo, since they're related. I also have a mirror, so I should probably use that. I'm just gonna dot it over the places in my face. And also, do a line underneath my dark circles, because I haven't been getting good sleep. 
even on days where I'm not sick, I don't get good sleep because, well, I'm just a person who doesn't like sleep. <laughs> ah! Oh god. <laughs> okay. And we need the splendor to just dot it and get it everywhere. And be careful to not get it on my lip ring. Just around my lip ring. I'm just gonna rub it in a little bit. You know, I want to get it everywhere. Make sure to try and cover up my face the best as I can. And any acne that I may have. I don't have a lot, which I'm very thankful for. As most teenagers. Uh, some, most, some teenagers have a lot. But maybe it's just genetics that I have. Parents. Uh, I don't think my mom had a lot. My dad didn't either, I don't think. Which I'm very thankful for. Um, I usually only get it on my chin, or on my mouth. I barely get it on any other parts. And yes, I'm adding it to my top lid. I added a lot. But it's okay. Just gonna keep on blending. Okay, so I added it to my face, and yeah. So as I can see by Leo, he has really white lips, kind of, but I'm going to use uh, this actually really cute little lip smacker, which is um, lip balm. It's a little Topia cup. I really like it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, clearing my throat. Just apply it to my lips. <clears throat> so Andrea is in fact a girl. <clears throat> Unless it's differently, but yeah. See where she's a girl, because he says my sister. <clears throat> Anyways. So next I'm going to add blush, of course. I don't know if I'm doing this in any order, I don't know if there is actually any order, but I'm going to fill my stuff up with brush and blush and fill it up with a little bit of the lighter thing and just apply it a little bit, but showing enough blush to the thing. I'm going to try an even amount. I have a mirror to the side, but... Okay. Got the blush on. So after the blush, I kind of want to do my eyelashes. So I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blush. Lash Blast. Clean. And I really like this one because not only is it really good, well, I really like them, but it's also animal cruelty free. And I really do like it that it's animal cruelty free because I think that animal testing is wrong. <clears throat> and even though I use other makeup, I really hate that a lot of it is tested on animals because they don't deserve that kind of stuff. If, uh, yeah. Not that I would rather it be tested on humans, but just test it on something else and then animals because not even mice deserve that 
but I do enjoy that this is, you know. Uh, and I'm cruelty free. So I'm just going to apply this to my eyelashes and my bottom lashes very lightly. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try not to poke my eye out. I feel like I apply makeup like this whenever I do a show uh, for Broadway productions, which is such a thing. Got my eyes. Uh, a little close up if you can't really see. I don't know if I'm gonna close up. I'm gonna use this color curler. I also have this. Um, like thing but it's blue so I might do that if you guys want to see an alien kind of thing because I do have something for that <clears throat> anyways I'm also going to add a little wine you know which is cold wings Try to make them equally. Mm. They're actually pretty good considered to the ones that I do at like school for me. And last but not least, I'm going to apply red lipstick. Very lightly though. And clean up smudges. Sophie, I'm doing a video. She's outside my door right now, so I might let her in. Yeah, one sec, guys. And now I'm gonna take my hair, take it out. Give it a brush through. And I'm just gonna go and style it. So I styled her hair, so some of it slipped to the side and kind of bump in it. And so I know Leo, and he has, in the first series, he has this kind of spider tattoo. I always kind of like that, so I'm gonna give Andrea a little bit of a tattoo. I already have like these tattoos. But I'm gonna give her a little, like, little tiny tattoo on her hand, a little spider, so it kind of resembles where it is coming from. So, oh. I'm gonna use mascara. And instead of doing it on my right hand, I'm going to do it on my left hand. So I'm gonna do it on a little bit of, like, this part of my thumb. A little tiny and do a little dot. Kind of like a little dot. And I'll make it a little bit of an ovalish kind of thing. And how many? One, two. Okay. Things going on in my mind right now, guys. Like I'm having flashbacks to the first time I started watching his series. First time I actually found out about him was through this series. I don't know. 
I think it was because I was watching other series like Cardlin audio stuff. I'm wondering if there was series of stuff, so... Yeah, this doesn't look like a spider very much, but still like it. And since it's Echoes of Desire, I'm going to put a little thing on my wrist right here. I put an E. And a D. Gonna put a dot between those. Because of desire with a little spider. And this is how I think Andrew would turn out. So her hair would be like this, kind of more. Kind of rockish, kind of carefree. I think Andrew would be that kind of person with pinkish kind of lips. Not really like too much makeup that she would have. I think that she would have a clear face, but I don't. Uh, she would have very light eyebrows. And of course she would have blue eyes, but I don't have blue eyes, so yeah. And I don't have contacts for them. I only have glasses. Um, and I just decided to put a little spider because I feel like she would be a little bit tempted to copy Leo because he is her older brother and I know from being a younger sister to other people, to other people, I mean my two older brothers, that I really would want to impress them and kind of try out stuff that they would want to, but I still have my own personality. And a little E-O-D for Echoes of Desire. And this is the outfit that I picked out. It's a little crop top with a yin yang symbol and ripped jeans. They're very light, very ripped, because uh, I feel like she'd be a carefree person once again. And yeah, I am very sick, um, but I don't look so sick, and I actually like this look, so I may do a little bit of TikToks. But yeah, this is how I think Andrea would turn out. So if you haven't watched the series already, of Echoes of Desire, I would suggest going to its channel and subscribing to him. Just subscribe to me if you want to see more videos and see more makeup tutorials. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I promise to make more videos, maybe not songs, but some maybe songs. And yeah, but I really hope you guys enjoyed.